Hi, I'm Miki Tebeka. Here at Outdoor Labs, we value your time. So we created this series of short videos, each of them showing a cool feature of the Go language or one of the libraries. Enjoy. In this short, we're going to see how to add values to the HTTP request context. So let's say I want to add a request ID every time someone hits a handler. And this request ID is going to get logged, so it's, it will be easy to group the logs by the request ID. When I get a handler, HTTP request gets a handler, this handler has its own context, and now we need to change it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a request ID middleware, and what I'm going to use is the request clone, which clones the request, but with a new context. So creating a new wrapper function, it generates the new ID, sets this ID in the context, and then clones with the new context, the new request. And now calling the original handler with the modified context. Okay, and here's a handler. The handler is very simple. It's just going to extract the context. Sorry, it's going to extract the request ID from the context and return it back to the client. And here we run the server as usual. So. Let's start. So we're going to start without debugging. And now I'm going to open a terminal. And I'm going to hit localhost 8080. And every time I'm going to do it, I'm going to get a different request ID. If you're curious to see something more sophisticated and production ready, you can head over to the Other Labs service repo. And in the foundation web context, there is an example about how to place things inside context, trace ID, tracer, status codes, and other things.